Hi there, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. We are in our digital devotional today in the book of Psalms, Psalm 22, and we're going to look at verses 12 and 13 today. As we start, as always, let's pray. Let's ask the Lord to guide us and direct us and strengthen us. Lord, we turn to you today. You know the day ahead of us. If we're watching this, Lord, toward the end of our days, you know the day past. And we pray that your grace, which is sufficient, would be the, the strength of our lives. We pray, God, that you would make clear the paths before us, lead us in your good and pleasing and perfect will. And I pray, O oh God, that the victory you have won on the cross through Christ would be applied in a, a deeper way to our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 22, Psalm of David. David starts out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And goes through the, the struggle, the honest struggle he is having to trust God, believe God, and experience the deliverance of God in the midst of his difficulties. And so in verse 12 and 13, he continues to describe uh, the seemingly insurmountable circumstances he faces. Verse 12, many bulls encompass me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. Maybe David literally had bulls that he was facing. I tend to think of this a little bit more figuratively, that the, the, war, the, the army that he faced in war, the circumstances that David was, uh, uh, had before him, were like strong bulls. They were those that were fertile. Bashan means fertile. And strong, they were prosperous and multiplying in strength. It's as if he's looking out at the, the field of battle and, and the, the enemy's army just kept growing and growing and growing as they took up their places in battle. And verse 12, they open their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. There is a ferocious power about them that, you know, the sometimes movies... Uh, really capture perhaps the, the biblical uh, uh, moments of battle very well. Like in the Lord of the Rings, you know, they're battling, hitting their shields on their swords and banging to, to kind of intimidate and, and, uh, and put the, the just fear in to kind of to detract and erode and erase any confidence they have. David faces what he sees as overwhelmingly insurmountable enemies. Jesus at the cross, who is the fulfillment of this, faced what seemed like the overwhelming and insurmountable foe of sin and won. He turned the tables on the enemy as the, the enemy thought of the moving, the pieces of the board were, were working toward his victory in the last final moment. Even as Jesus dies and breathes his last breath and cries out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? From the lips of David, which is a cry of desperation, from the lips of Jesus becomes a cry of deliverance and victory. Cry out to Jesus cry out in the midst of what seems like insurmountable circumstances and know the victory of Christ. So glad that you're with me today. I'm praying for you and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.